you think it's hard to be a detective? Well, a lot of people think detectives just sit around, eat donuts, and drink coffee. They think they barely get out of their offices. But come on, deep down you know that's not true. We made a selection of riddles that real detectives shared with us. Sure, some criminals are just dumb and desperate. But most criminals are really cunning and inventive. Let's see how fast your brain works. Let's see whether you can solve all these crime riddles and find all the criminals who are still roaming free. Several dangerous criminals escape from prison. Help the police find them all. Can you see the prisoner? Yeah, someone's clearly hiding there. So we found our first criminal. How about this one? Can you see the prisoner? And here's the second one. That was easy. I'm sure you'll spot this next one right away. Can you see the prisoner? Yeah, this one hit pretty well, but you still found him, right? Okay, this one is tough. Can you see the prisoner? Here he is. Alright guys, last one. Can you see the prisoner? So, here you are, gotcha. An anonymous person called the police and said that a criminal was hiding near a lake, in some sort of basement. Several police officers came to the lake and found three different houses. The first one was a writer's house. It was a beautiful house right on the water, it had a small wooden pier and everything. The second one turned out to be the home of the chief of police. It was empty right now, but it was guarded by a huge dog. And the third one belonged to a professor. He lived there quietly with his wife and three children. So where did the criminal hide? You got 12 seconds to solve this one. Answer at the professor's house. The writer doesn't even have a basement. And the police chief's house is guarded by a dog. A detective was informed about some suspicious strangers at several archaeological bases. They worked as a group and pretended to be archaeologists. Actually, they were just common thieves. They stole precious objects and sold them off to the highest bidder. The detective managed to get some photos from some of the bases. Which one of them is a criminal? Yeah, archaeological finds shouldn't be stored like that at all. Which one of them is a criminal? A real archaeologist would never sit on an artifact. It might be fragile. Which one of them is a criminal?
He is a criminal. Check it out, he doesn't even know how to use a magnifying glass. Which one of them is a criminal? She's the criminal. Look, she took the bracelet. A family lived in a small town for several years. They were under the supervision of secret agents. It was all very top secret. One night, a secret object disappeared from their garage. The government immediately sent their best detective. The detective decided to interview some suspects. He told them that there was an ordinary car in the garage. Tim and Mia said, We've been friends with this family for a long time, but we never saw their car. We weren't home at night, we were at the club until morning. Peter said, I couldn't fall asleep that night, so I'm sure I would have noticed if something secret had been taken out of the garage. John said, I was with my daughter all night. The detective immediately knew who to arrest. So who do you think it was? You got 12 seconds for this one. Use them wisely. The answer? It was Peter. No one told him there was something secret in the garage. Joanna often met people online. One day she met a guy who attacked her. <gasps> he was arrested and was sent to prison. Just recently she was told that he escaped from prison and wanted to take revenge on her. At about the same time, she had planned to go on three dates with three different guys. She had met them online. They didn't know anything about her, and she didn't know anything about them. Joanna knew that her dangerous ex would try and come to one of the dates. She picked up her phone and immediately realized which one of them was the escaped criminal, her horrible ex. Let's see what the guy said. Marcus said, Hi, let's meet tomorrow at 8 p.m. There's a really interesting movie in the cinema. I'll wait for you there. Donovan said, Would you like to go to my favorite band's concert? It's tonight at 9 p.m. If yes, let me know. I've got a car. Where should I pick you up? And Colin said, I reserved a table at a really nice restaurant for the day after tomorrow. I'll be at your house at 6 p.m. Don't be late. So which one's her ex? You only got 12 seconds to help Joanna. The answer, it's Colin. He knows where Joanna lives. Wow, those criminals are so inventive. Were you able to find them all? Tell us in the comments.